Well, hello, family. It is Sunday afternoon, and I just got through going through my whole house and cleaning it. Went to church this morning. Going to go back to church this evening. And so we're going to have like a, a late lunch, early dinner. <laughs> and so one of the things that I wanted to show you, I told you I got something cute for Christmas. I always wanted one of those great big waffle irons that you can flip over, but they're so expensive to get one of the best. So my husband and my little girl got me one of the the little ones i can't pick it up because i've already turned it on getting it preheated well i can't pick it up look at that and so we're going to see what we can kind of do with it i've already made her a couple waffles on it but uh uh let's just say she wants some waffles for for lunch and then i'm gonna show you this ham steak we got and it looks like my camera is going down to level one so let's just go down with it <laughs> i'll be right back once i set everything up okay i'll be right back Okay, I'm back and hopefully my camera will stay up. I've got to buy me a new tripod. This one just will not stay tightened up, but we're gonna work with this today. And sometimes I'm a little crooked, sometimes I'm a little this way, but we're gonna we're gonna do it. We're gonna make some waffles today and we're gonna make a video. So I'm gonna turn you guys down so you can see. I've already got some uh, pancake mix uh, that's inside the, of uh, this mason jar. I will get it right in a minute. And uh, they like a little cinnamon in theirs. I got a little cinnamon. I got my Nella flavoring out. Not vanilla flavor, Nella flavoring. You, you're talking to a girl from the South, so I did Nella flavoring. And then I got, oh, look at this. One beautiful blue egg from my girls outside. Ain't that a pretty egg? That is a beautiful egg. And we're going to mix it up. And this will be easy to pour. So I'm going to turn you guys down. Let me move all these wires out of the way so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and get turned down here. And let's see if it, look at there. It went down to the first floor just perfect. Almost like it had an elevator operator. Ain't that awesome? <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, I'm just gonna measure maybe about a half a cup of this in here because we, we don't wanna make a lot. My husband's not gonna eat any. Let's loosen that up a little bit. Let's see. Now with waffles, you want your batter a little thicker. So. Boy, I know it's just going to pour out. And I'm going to have about five cups in there. <laughs> That's about a half a cup right there. Let me get my lid back on here. We're going to add our egg. I'm going to put the egg in the bowl because sometimes you get surprises with fresh eggs. Mm, that's a beautiful egg. I tell you what the price of eggs right now are. I do definitely almost have uh, chickens that lay the golden egg. And that's the truth. So we're going to put our cinnamon in there. Set that over to the side. We're gonna put a cap full of of um, Nella flavoring. Nella flavoring, lid, get back. There we go. Goodness, I tell you. You ever be in a hurry? Let me grab some milk out of the refrigerator. And I'm gonna use a, a little bit of vanilla almond milk in that because we like the flavor of that when we're baking stuff. So just a little bit. And uh, you ever get in a hurry, and then once you start getting in a hurry, your butterfingers, you keep dropping everything? Well, that's where I'm at right now. I've been running around washing clothes, mopping. I even uh, put some water in the carpet cleaner and run it over the carpets to kind of freshen them. So let's give this a good stir. Like I said, we're just going to make a few. I'm not going to make a whole lot because I'm trying not to eat too much bread. And she just, she's already had lunch and breakfast because she didn't go to church. She was just going, wanted me to make her one kind of for a treat. So that's kind of where you want your batter. Maybe like a cake. Maybe like a cake. So what I'm going to do is I've got some of these delicious vanilla flavored caramels. They're delicious. They're extra vanilla in them. And we're going to open this up. Now I got some ideas to work with this waffle iron. We're gonna do some savory stuff later on down the road with it. So let me go ahead and get these open because this thing is hot and it cooks quick. I might speed up opening these. <laughs> if you're on a diet, eat caramels because you will be tired and ready to take a nap by the time you can open up two of them. And that's the truth. <laughs> okay. So we're just gonna lay them down there. We're gonna go ahead, and I always like to spoon mine on. 
I try to get a little bit right there because it squeezes it out to the sides. And we're going to set that caramel in there and then just take another spoonful and put over the top. Make sure it's fully covered and then we're going to close that baby up. Oh, and it smells so good in here. It smells like a, it almost smells like, you know, an ice cream parlor where they make the the waffle cones fresh. That's what it's smelling like up in here. I wish we had smell -a vision It smells so good. And it don't take very long. I'm kind of do it like that. Boy, it is smelling so good in here. So, so good. And I just wanted to kind of finish cooking that. And you can see that caramel. Woo, it's hotter than a firecracker. You can see that beautiful caramel right there. Ooh, it's coming out. Look at that. Look at that. We're going to put a butter on there. And we're going to put... We're going to go ahead and make another one. The spray, because it's got caramel on there, so we need to spray that on there. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put a spoon of waffle mixture on there. Kind of spread it around. Take that caramel, kind of put it down in there deep. Put that on there. Close the lid. And then what I got over here is some frozen Cool Whip. We like it frozen. And then we're just going to kind of put it on the top. Let that butter kind of melt down in over that thing. And we're going to put that on there. She likes Cool Whip on top of her. See how pretty that is? Then we're going to put some syrup over the top of it. You could even sprinkle some more cinnamon on there. It would be gorgeous. And it don't take a whole lot to do these once this thing gets fired up. Because that one needs to cook a little bit longer. And what I'm going to do to get that caramel on there, I'm just going to take a hot soapy rag wipe, still warm. Kind of wash it. Then take and rinse the rag, wipe it out, and then dry it off with a towel. So it's not going to be hard to clean. Just like, But I want to I want to make some savory stuff on here. That's my thing. See if I can't make a, you know, like a breakfast sandwich on here or whatever. But today we're just kind of making a waffle. I don't think my husband got this on clearance back in the summertime and I think he gave three dollars a piece for these and uh, of course I got one so we're gonna take this piece of butter that's over here because she's gonna have a lot of sweet on there we're just gonna kind of wipe that in there we're gonna put another scoop of this frozen cool whip on there I keep some, sometimes I eat frozen Cool Whip like ice cream, especially when I'm trying to diet, because I can take that and put a little bit of chocolate sauce on there, and some peanuts, and I think I got ice cream. Is that not beautiful? That's beautiful. We've got enough to make one more. I think I'm going to surprise her, oh, Grandpa Harold to make him one, but I'm not going to make him one with caramel in it. No, I ain't. So I'm going to take a little butter and put down in here and let it melt. To kind of loosen up that caramel so we don't stick. Give it a spray on the top. There we go. Like I said, I got enough for I got enough for one more. We're gonna throw him a surprise one on his plate. Won't that be nice? Let's go back over this. I did not light. Let's take a bite of this and see how good it is. Okay, isn't that good? I'm just gonna show you this uh, steak that we got. And it's good. You can leave it on there to get a little more crispy. Oh my goodness. Let's call the girl in here and see if she likes it. I'll be right back. And she's going to get on camera, but she's been working in her room. She wants me to eat. Come on over here, baby. You're all right. Go ahead and taste it. Show them what you got. Mm -hmm. Put it up there where they can see it. Oh, sorry. All right. Oh, wait. I'm shaking. Mm -hmm. You like that, babe? I put you some of that Cool Whip on there that we like to keep for ice cream in the freezer. Is that good? Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, one down. Let's see if we can't make Grandpa Harold happy. I'll be right back. Okay, so at our store, they were having to sell on these beautiful ham steaks. We got this ham steak for $2.11, and my sweetheart can eat this whole ham steak. And so he's going to get a waffle, a ham steak, a couple of eggs, and a couple of pieces of low-carb toast. And Because he hasn't really had anything to eat today, so we're going to... We're gonna fill him up before church time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let's go on over here to the stove. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this bad boy open. Get my stove going. Get it heated up the stove. And uh, Miss Missy's over there eating her. <laughs> She's over there eating her waffle. She loves it. So let me put you guys down. 
so you can see the stove and we're going to cut this open and we're going to get this ham steak cooking isn't that a beautiful ham steak we're going to put it right there well i love ham steak he might let me have a bite of that i don't know but we're going to put it on that griddle And then right up here at the top, I'm going to grab a couple of these farm fresh eggs out of here. And we're going to do him a couple eggs over here. A couple of over easy eggs and that. And then uh, while that's going on, I'm going to get a pan. You can see me working over here. And I'm going to turn the oven on rule. And we're going to make some white my grandmother used to call moon toast okay so on this moon toast hoping you can see that let's move these that out of the way on this moon toast you're going to add a pat of butter right in the middle of it the oven's going to be on roll you're just going to put a pat of butter on each one of them All right, then you're going to put it in broil, in the oven on broil. And I want to show you guys something cute. I've got it in the oven because I'm trying to season it. I'm just kind of letting it run. But I got this for Christmas from Tractor Supply. Let me turn it around so you guys can see. Would this not be the cutest thing to make some old-fashioned cookies in? or some cornbread. Is that not the cutest thing? We've got a cow, a pig, a chicken, a sheep, a duck, and a horse. Look at that. Is that gorgeous? But it's right along in my oven right now. It's getting seasoned away so that I'll be able to use it because it was brand, brand new. So let me get some tongs. Put this old ham steak over it. That looking good. That's looking good. Let me get me a spatula. I've been having a little problems with my griddle wanting to stick on me, but it looks like it's doing pretty good today. We need to get this over on the heat, son. It's a cold spot over here. Let's just kind of roll her over because he likes his really over easy. So now we're going to sprinkle it with just a little tiny bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. Here's his plate with his waffle on there. Isn't that looking delicious? Like I said, we don't ha you don't have to cook a ham steak for too, too long. It's already pre-cooked. You're just heating it through. I'm going to turn the heat off the back on them eggs. Well, I'm thinking it's going to be done. Let's take it. Put it on there like that. Isn't that beautiful? And he will eat all of that. Every bit of it. That's enough to feed one family. But my husband, when it comes to certain things, he will eat everything. So we're going to pick those eggs up and we're going to lay them right there on top of that ham. We lost a piece. We're going to set this right down there, right over here. As soon as this moon toast is done and out of the oven, we're going to finish him up. I want some toast with a ham cheese omelet, so let's let that work. Let's get me a couple eggs out of here. Just gonna take his knife. Just two eggs in there, just beat that up. Turn on my back. And then we're just going to kind of pour those on there and just kind of let them sit as they're cooking them. Back on. I want a couple pieces of turkey bacon. Just kind of showing you how I'm making. I do multiple things sometimes. I feel like I work in a restaurant sometimes because everybody wants different things. But I'm going to put some cheese on my omelet now. love to have some veggies in there but I just didn't take the time to cut them up. 
Just a good old cheese on with a big good. Alright, I need to check that toast in the oven so we make sure we don't burn it. Because it is on full. It needs to be spun around. So, we're cooking away now. I'm going to put the turkey bacon back up. It's ready to start folding. I like to fold mine a couple of different times. So just roll it over. Roll it over one more time. If I can get it, get it to stop going. <laughs> let's see. Well, let's do it from this way. How about this? And let's just hold it. There we go. Now. There. Now it's with those. Now we got our turkey bacon going. Let's check that moon toast again. When I take it out, you're going to know why we call it moon toast. It's called moon toast because the butter's in the middle and it's made a circle. So let me take this oven off. We're going to serve up Grandpa Harold, flip this over, make me a plate, and we're going to eat. It's going to be delicious, guys. It's going to be very delicious. I love breakfast. I would eat breakfast for lunch, supper, and dinner. There was a time when I was a little girl, me and my Granny Newman ate so many eggs one summer that my aunt said that we ought to be laying eggs. We had so many eggs in us. <laughs> she was having to buy eggs eggs every day when she stopped by the store and get another dozen eggs. We had eggs for breakfast, eggs for lunch, and we were eating eggs for dinner. We sure did love it. We're going to turn the heat on all of these now, off of these now. And we're going to pepper that up a little bit right there. I don't put salt on mine. And so when Grandpa Harold's going to get three pieces of this moon toast, it's just going to lay there like that and there is his his afternoon brunch dinner early dinner his only meal he's had today ain't that look delicious and we're gonna throw him a knife on there i'm gonna taste this little piece right there oh yeah so he is ready to eat we don't eat them them ham so much because they're so salty they really are salty that's why i'm having turkey bacon so I'm going to flip that egg over just a little bit more because I like mine done all the way through. That turkey bacon all the way done. Nice and crispy. That egg is done. We're going to put it on the table, put it on the plate. I'm going to put my two pieces there. Put my turkey bacon on the plate. And y'all... We're going to call that Brenner. Brenner, lunch of Brenner. <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed going along with me, cooking a few things for my family for lunch of Brenner. We got my plate here. And so we've got an egg, an egg and cheese omelet, some turkey bacon, and good old moon toast. And you can see why it's called moon toast. I mean, butter is in there and it is just so good. And it's good and crispy on one side. Harold has two of her easy eggs. He has a waffle with uh, all of the stuff on it three pieces of moon toast and his his steak don't that look like that could be served up delicious in a restaurant mm-hmm that's always been my dream is to have me a little restaurant where I can serve up things but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed going along with me today we're gonna do some other things on that waffle I've got things written down mm-hmm so we did some cooking today we spent some time together and it's a beautiful Sunday. So y'all going out and have fun with your family. Uh, make some dinner. Sit down and watch something. And make sure you read your Bible today and talk to the good Lord. Because he's always listening. God bless you. Love you. Until next time, I'm Remy Nene.